Hey everyone, it's Jeremy with Quiet Mind Yoga, and today on day 29, we'll have a tennis ball for this practice, and we'll do three simple rolling movements, about two minutes each, and they're not just going to be all on the hips, because our bodies are deeply connected uh, through the fascia, the connective tissue under our skin. So if we stretch somewhere in the feet, it's going to affect the rest of the body, uh, so we'll do something for the feet the outer hips, and the shoulders, all three of the most common areas we hold tension in our bodies. And the tennis ball is great for releasing that. So we'll take the tennis ball, just one that you'll need for this, uh, and you'll roll on the left foot to start. And I'll set a little timer here, so we've got about two minutes on each of these spots. So even if you have something firmer, uh, like a lacrosse ball at home, I, I would suggest starting with a tennis ball and then you can go up in intensity and thickness of what you're using from there. And especially with the feet, I've noticed if I try to go really hard right away, uh, I'll be kind of sore and kind of set back the next couple of days. So rather than releasing tension, I've actually created some more tension just my body uh, kind of recoiling from that effort. So start simple, start slow. Be gentle and anywhere that feels good. All right, so there's lots of spots you can move around and there's really no wrong way to do this except to force it and use too much pressure too soon. So it should feel pretty good like a massage on the feet. About halfway through on this side. So if you've done something in one spot, maybe move to another spot. About 20 seconds here on this side. So this video, we're just going to be using the tennis ball for the three parts of the body. But using the tennis ball has been shown and I've experienced it tends to create a lot more range of motion flexibility after using it in the rest of the body, particularly moving the feet and then going to the hamstrings. Stretching the hamstrings after rolling on the feet tends to bring a lot more flexibility. We'll switch here. So ball under the right foot, about two minutes on this side. Anything that feels good. All right, tennis ball is nice because it has a little less pressure to it and you can kind of attenuate that by leaning into it more or less. This is a case of more isn't always better. So <laughs> I made that mistake in early on of, oh, this feels like it's gonna be very helpful. So I'll get a lacrosse ball and just push away at this for several minutes. And it just ends up creating a little more tension in the feet and it's kind of counterproductive. So if you find a good spot, I found a good spot here. I'm just gonna sit on it for a moment here and lean into it and give it some time to start to release rather than trying to push it or force it or do anything, just enough pressure to feel it. And my brain gets the signal that there is a tension there. And if it's ready, it'll start to release. And if not, then I'll come back to it another time. Last 30 seconds here on the right foot. If this was a TV show, I surely wouldn't be on the air very long. This is not captivating television, <laughs> but I'm um, just here to guide you in your practice. And you can always go longer with these if you want, but I'm giving you the two minutes to work with as a good starting point. 
All right, so we'll go down to the mat and take the tennis ball to the side for a moment. Right foot on the ground, left ankle over the right knee, like a figure four, like reclined pigeon. And then scoot your right foot in, heels, right heel towards the tail a little closer. And then your tennis ball is gonna come under the left hip. So possibly in the piriformis, or the glute medius, somewhere in the abductors, you're probably going to feel a good amount of tension. Most people have a lot going on there, so take your time, be gentle, start by using less pressure into it, and then eventually ease into it a little more if you want, or just stay on one spot or roll on different spots. you find some really tense spots, you can breathe out like you're breathing out through a straw. That titrated breath I talk about in other videos where you make the exhale longer as if you're blowing out through a straw to help relieve tension. There's no need to overdo it here. Consistency is much more valuable than intensity in pretty much everything, uh, particularly with working with t tension in the body. Consistency is more valuable than intensity. So if you do a little bit of this every day, instead of trying to do it once a year and get all the tension out with a lot of effort, uh, you'll have more sustainable results you'll feel better in your body. Start to come down from here, other side. Right knee bends, right ankle over left knee, left heel towards the tail, tennis ball under the right hip, finding those areas that need attention. And if there is a really tense spot, like I've found here, I'm gonna take those titrated breaths. Long exhales, like blowing out through a straw. And it's times like this, I remember what Iyengar says in Light On Yoga, how basically if we don't work out our challenges, our tensions in our bodies, we tend to take them out on others. This feels just like getting angry at someone else, getting angry about a situation. The anger is not about someone else. It's, it's in our bodies. We hold on to it, and we can manage it, and we can direct it. I'll speak for myself, I can feel my anger and tension in that outer hip. And I feel this is a very healthy way to manage it rather than blowing up on other people. Last little bit here on this side, rolling or holding on different spots. Right, if you find this effective, you might want to come back to it a little regularly. It's great to do before or after any of the other practices on this channel. From here, we'll go on to the shoulders. Take the tennis ball under the back. I'll face this way, actually. So you're going to have the tennis ball under the shoulder blade. So we'll start on the right side. So if you reach your right arm forward and a little bit across the body, you can get into that tissue under the shoulder blade, the rhomboids, the subscapularis, all these areas that tend to hold a lot of tension for us all the way up into the traps. 
So somewhere in there, you're going to find some interesting spots. So take the ball under that area. Again, the more weight you put into this, the more intense it will be. So you can start lightly and gently. You can have your knees bent feet on the floor and use that as a leverage point to roll on the ball a little bit. You can also do this at a wall. I tend to prefer using the floor, but the wall does give you a little more attenuation because it's easier to, to push your body weight against or away from the wall. All right, so reaching the right arm forward and away gets you under that right scapula into the tissue. And then you've got access to move around with the tennis ball, putting attention on some different spots there. Holding still or rolling, whatever feels good to you. If there's any pain, that's normal. <laughs> if there's too much pain, do less. All right. You should, you should feel a little uncomfortable, but not so uncomfortable. You're going to be sore and tense tomorrow. And your body is going to recoil and, and feel this attempt at releasing tension as a threat and then become more tense. So everything we're doing here to release tension, as always, is in a safe, gentle manner. Our bodies know that we're safe, we're taking long breaths, long exhales. Last little bit on this side, maybe going into some different areas than you were just at. Every day is gonna be a little different. If you have a longer foam roller, that's a nice, Little addition to roll on the upper back, especially on the hamstrings, on the quads. Tennis balls are a little more uh, specialized, but a foam roller would be a great way to get into some bigger muscles in a more general way. And from here, we'll start to transition onto the other side. Left arm reaches forward and across, giving you access under the scapula. And the tennis ball finding its way around here any way that feels good. Again, there's no right way to do this. It's listening to your body. It's finding what feels best. Just one thing I would not suggest is moving your left elbow towards the ground and the scapula into the tennis ball. That's probably not going to feel so good. But keeping that left arm reached out and away, giving you access into the muscles and the tissue under the shoulder blade and around the shoulder blade, it's probably going to feel best. halfway through on this side and again you can take longer if you've got the time if you want to but don't overdo it right your body's going to respond better to doing a couple minutes of this repeatedly a few times a week instead of trying to do 10 minutes of it occasionally a little bit here and we'll let the tennis ball go and close out our practice with the tennis ball for today hope you find this helpful if you have any questions leave a comment below or you want to see other videos like this like share and subscribe to this channel thanks for joining us namaste